we've got 2,000 acres of crops here. Uh, it's my uh, father, uh, Jim, and myself uh, that do the farming. Uh, corn, bean, and wheat rotation. Uh, and then every acre is no-tilled and cover cropped. We're using mostly annual rye grass on what we're doing. We've got some cereal rye. Uh, we've got crimson clover in just about everything we're doing. Uh, we've got some rapeseed turnips and uh, radishes in some of it as well. Um, trying a lot of different things, uh, but the main mix on like this field is uh, ryegrass crimson clover that we had today. This one's going to soybeans, um, so we've got in a quart and a half of glyphosate. Uh, we've got a quart of 2,4-D. And then we've got canopy uh, in here as well, residual that uh, we put down with our bean uh, acres. Um, we've got all our corn acres uh, burn off already, and those were just straight uh, quart of glyphosate, a uh, quart and a half if the ryegrass was real big, um, and then a quart of 2,4-D in there. I go around all winter long and then throughout the year and speak to different groups about you know what we're seeing on our farm with cover crops and, and promoting that, um, you know, telling them why they should be using them and and uh, you know the yield advantage and, and the soil health and, and the things with erosion and stuff that uh, we're going on that aren't now that we have cover crops and. Um, so it's uh, gaining and, and uh, a lot more people is, is one guy gets cover crops and a neighbor watches them and they start using cover crops and you can see the circles grow out. Uh, there's a, some areas that are getting quite a few acres of cover crops in them.